So, people are mad at Chris Pratt for loving his wife. Now, I'm sure you guys know who Chris Pratt is. He plays Star-Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy and pretty much plays every animated character known to man. And recently, Chris Pratt has been facing a lot of backlash from people on Twitter and I guess this is because he's been getting a lot of roles recently. I guess a lot of people hate that he's playing Mario and Garfield, which, I mean, I get that it's kind of funny imagining Chris Pratt as Mario or Garfield and I thought some of the memes were pretty funny and I thought that entire thing was just a joke well it turns out that a lot of people actually hate Chris Pratt and last year a lot of people on Twitter were saying that he was the worst Chris in Hollywood and a lot of people were saying that he was homophobic and apparently the church that he went to was homophobic now I don't know much about this church and I'm not Christian I'm not religious whatsoever but Chris Pratt ended up responding to this and I believe him. It has recently been suggested that I belong to a church which hates a certain group of people and is infamously anti-LGBTQ. Nothing could be further from the truth, he wrote. I go to a church that opens their doors to absolutely everyone. Despite what the Bible says about divorce, my church community was there for me every step of the way, never judging, just gracefully accompanying me on my walk. They helped me tremendously, offering love and support. It is what I have seen them do for others on countless occasions regardless of sexual or orientation, race, or gender. And a lot of his co-stars actually came out to support him during this, but for some reason it has continued to spread on Twitter that Chris Pratt is homophobic despite him never saying anything that could at all be perceived as homophobic. I mean, he's just an actor and seems like a pretty normal guy to me. And recently, Chris Pratt committed the horrible crime of loving his wife because he posted this on his Instagram and for some reason a lot of people got mad at him over this. Guys, for real, look at how she's looking at me. I mean, find you somebody that looks at you like that, you know? We met in church. She's giving me an amazing life, a gorgeous, healthy daughter. She chews so loudly that sometimes I put in my earbuds to drown it out, but that's love. She helps me with everything. In return, periodically, I open a jar of pickles. That's the trade. Her heart is pure and it belongs to me. My greatest treasure right next to my Ken Griffey Jr. Upper Deck Rookie Card, which if you know, you know it's saying a lot. It's her birthday in about six weeks, so if you don't get her anything, I'll tell her to look back on this post. Love you, honey. Now, I will admit that's a little corny, but at the same time, it's pretty clear that he was just trying to compliment his wife. But this right here is the reaction that some people on Twitter had after reading this post. She helps me with everything. In return, I open a jar of pickles. I guess people are mad that he was trying to be funny. The real political divide in America can be summed up with whether you think this post from Chris Pratt comes off as A, sweet and normal, or B, cringe and insane. I would say that I'm in the middle. It's cringe and normal. I wouldn't say this is insane at all. Now, some of this backlash I kind of do understand because there was a line where he said his wife had given him a healthy child and apparently the kid that he had with his ex-wife has some health issues. So people were saying that he was basically making fun of his other kid, which I kind of think that's ridiculous. I don't think Chris Pratt is the kind of person to to do that and by all accounts him and his ex-wife have a pretty good relationship so I don't think him saying that his wife had given him a healthy kid had anything to do with his other kid having health issues now after Chris Pratt faced all of this backlash he made some posts on his Instagram saying how this was really affecting him that he was getting really depressed and couldn't sleep because of this and I wouldn't be surprised if some of that has to do with the fact that people were taking his words out of context to make it seem like he hated his kid or that he was somehow a horrible person for loving his wife. But after this article came out about Chris Pratt talking about being depressed from all this backlash, people on Twitter started making fun of him. Even though these are the same people who say, don't bully people, take mental health seriously, except when someone they don't like is going through something, they bully them. Okay, and I do this every night. He's not special. I mean, same, but wouldn't you know how that feels? So you should at least feel bad for the guy? No one gives an F. Matter of fact, this made me smile. So I guess this person just likes seeing people upset. I swear, some of these people on Twitter have got to be psychopathic. I do this all the time, dude. This isn't newsworthy. I mean, it, it's not exactly his fault that this became news. The media just kind of reports on anything because I guess that's your job. But this entire backlash was extremely stupid. He made a corny post 
post on Instagram about how he loves his wife and somehow people have twisted that into Chris Pratt is an evil horrible person and there are actually people mad that Chris Pratt is voicing Garfield and Mario. Like if you're actually upset that Chris Pratt is gonna be voicing a 400 pound cat, you need to do something better with your time. So yeah, these are just my thoughts on this entire situation. If you guys have enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. JK Rowling has revealed that your entire life, you were actually Chris Pratt.